Welcome to week number two for Terry. My name is Jody Bunting and this is another one of our live coaching sessions uh, where we're following our 12 slimmers on the free six week course. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, Terry. Hello. Oh, how are you doing? Uh, all right. So you one week through the course. How has your first week been? I thought I did really well, to be fair. I actually really enjoyed it. So we found out last week you work nights, you've got a busy life with kids and, 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 and. So you find it, found it okay to fit everything yeah. in? To an extent, yeah. Obviously, I think I need to try um, fitting in like little and often into it as much as I can, but I'm not that great at it. Right, so you've been on the scales. Yes. And what happened? They stayed the same. Okay. And what do you think? Do you initially do you know why? Not really, because I've stopped drinking pop. I might have been because I ate before standing on scales. I'm not sure if that happens. Yeah. But I don't think it was. Um but I stopped drinking pop. I didn't really have any chocolate all week. Um, like the first day I think I had like a cream puff if I'm honest from like birds but that was like my first day in to you so I wasn't used to it yeah on that and then the next couple of days I was actually like really good and quite well behaved and I was drinking more water which I don't drink anything so I thought I'd actually get some sort of loss Right, so let's go through your um, food diary and hopefully we'll be able to find some reasons why. Uh, first of all, do you feel like you've lost? Forget what the scale will say. Do you feel healthier? I did, I did, yeah. Yeah, I thought that when I stood on them today, I thought I'm going to see like maybe two pounds off today or, you know what I mean, or I was open for a bit more and then when I stood on them, I was like, surely they can't be right. So I went to the doctors and tried the doctors just to Oh, sure. did you? Yeah. I was like, surely it's not right. I got my partner to stand on him and I need to stand on him. I was like, come on, get yourself on him. Now, was it the same time of time of day that you weighed last week to this week? Uh, was it first I thing? No, no. I, I, I actually did it about half five tonight <laughs> and where did you weigh last week um in the morning okay so you can be up to half a stone heavier in the evening to the morning all right <laughs> so okay. the good news is terry you could have lost seven pounds in this week but because of the scale difference we don't quite know the other slight issue with yourself is because you work night shift as well, your 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 day and your body is all kind of a bit out of balance. So it's really important to try and make sure that you are weighing at the same time every week. OK, did you. So there was an issue with your scales, wasn't there this morning? Yeah. 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 Okay. Obviously they keep moving them. So I'm there like, stop moving my scales. <laughs> so let's try and do the, the same time. Do you want to weigh tomorrow morning? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to try tomorrow morning and see whether that is? And then obviously next Monday, try and weigh at the same time in the morning. Okay. Right. Let's go through your food diary this week um, and let's see if there's anything in there that I can uh, try and help you with. Now, straight away, the first thing, which is yesterday morning, is fry light. Yeah. <laughs> So obviously Fry Light is very famous within Slimming World and basically yeah. the slimming um, industry. I, I did Do only know? use it today. I was like using water for everything the week, like through the week. <laughs> Do you know why we don't like Fry Light? Because you spray so much of it. It's like one colour spray. <laughs> No, they, they, there's a there's a bigger meaning than that. The problem with Fry Light is it's literally just chemicals. Oh, is it? Have, okay. Have you ever smelt it before? No, I wouldn't want to. <laughs> oh, it smells vile. Absolutely vile. So if I was in your house right now, I'd go into your kitchen, get your fry light and literally pour it down the pan, down the drain, mm -hmm. uh, because it is literally just chemicals. 
Um, and I don't know whether you saw my post this morning where I was posting about lowering your um, uh, medication, any sort of chemicals. So any sort of chemicals that you put into your body slows down your weight loss. So although it's got hardly any calories in one calorie per spray the calories that it does have in are chemicals and it actually slows down your weight loss so it's yeah. really important not to use fry light what's another best suggestion because i have been using water through the week and everyone's looked at me gone out and like why are you putting a little bit of water in the pan and cooking your food right now the good news is fat is not the problem in life sugar okay. is the problem so what i want you to do is to use fat um, if you can use a higher quality fat, have you ever used coconut oil before? I don't like coconut. Okay. Have you used olive oil? Do you like olives? Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so olive oil is a good option. The other one is uh, cold pressed rapeseed oil. Have you ever had that before? No, I've had that. Is it rapeseed rump, oil? I don't know what that is. Yeah, rapeseed oil. Um, yeah, that's it. So yeah, so that's an, another one because it doesn't really taste of anything. Well, to be honest, olive oil is the best one because it's got some good fats in there. Um, but just use a little bit of that when you're cooking. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to use a little bit of butter, that's also good. I don't like they, to use butter. You don't like butter? <laughs> I don't like to use it when I'm cooking, no. <laughs> you, because I can see you've used margarine, haven't you? The utterly butterly. <laughs> And I put that on my I put that on my bread. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> do you do you are you just scared of real butter? Is that the problem? I don't know. I've never cooked with butter. Okay. So what you want what I want you to do is to try and use some real butter. Okay. You'll be you'll be so impressed how it tastes because it tastes absolutely amazing. Does it this, taste salty? Because I hate the taste of salt. No, you can get unsalted butter. Oh, that, I buy that. Yeah. So get yourself some unsalted that. butter and oh, use wow. that. The problem is any of these like spreadable spreads have got oil in them, really cheap oil. So it's important to get a butter that's literally like a block. You know, the blocks of butter. Yeah. So if you get yourself an unsalted block of butter, uh, you can cook with it, you can put it on your bread, you can do whatever. The kids will absolutely love it. And you will start to notice after a couple of weeks, your skin, your hair, your nails will start to get really nice and shiny and healthy. Because again, um, you're getting some healthy fats in you. I, I use it for my um, coronation curry. <laughs> That's oh, why you... I have it in my fridge. Perfect. <laughs> Well, but I use sour cream in my curry, so I need to. I try to change my sour cream to my Greek yogurt instead, like natural yeah. yogurt. Um, right, let's go through some of the other things. Uh, so you had mushrooms, uh, peppers, ham, eggs, uh, and that's where you had the bread and onions. Yeah. So what was I'm that? Was that an omelette? Yeah. Okay. I have an omelette with a piece of bread on the side. So did we mention last week about bread and pasta? Yeah, um, no, actually. Okay, no. so remember with processed foods, bread and pasta are probably the two worst ingredients just because they um, have got a lot of processing in and they're quite high in carbs as well. Um, so although this week is all about calories, and that's why I told you, just to let you know, if you can kind try and reduce bread and reduce pasta, that would be great. Yeah. I tried uh, then, not to have pasta and I did try and reduce the bread. I did have like one little. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you just had one finger roll. So that was good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for lunch, again, the things that I'm reading out are not quite different for you because you, you work night shifts. So it's all it's probably better if I say meal number two was a regular hot chocolate from Costa. <laughs> yeah. But it's not, don't worry, don't be shy. It was 173 calories and you tracked it. So that's the yeah. good news. Okay, don't worry about that. Uh, for dinner, you had mushrooms, eggs, salad, peas, uh, some Slimming World chips. Did you see yeah. me eat them last week I did, as well? I did, yeah. Did you like them? 
I love cinnamon roll chips, and my partner actually loves them compared to normal chips. Great, he's healthy. So he has them with me all the time. I think they're really tasty. Um, you had peppercorn sauce mix. Uh, it says sirloin, Iceland. Is that a steak? Yeah, so basically made of steak and chips and that. Great, and you had some <laughs> onion rings as well. Yeah, which was the quite naughty side of it. Don't worry. So that was yesterday, and that was 1,500 calories. Uh, let's have a look for Saturday. Okay, so for breakfast, you had uh, bread with Marmite and can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. It's okay, don't worry. Uh, for lunch, you had quick ad. It just says 320 calories, but it doesn't say the name. What was that? Oh, um, I had the muffins that I, should, that I sent you a picture of. Oh, yes. Great. Uh, in the evening, you had noodles with chicken and vegetables and some soy sauce. So that was a stir fry, was it? Yeah, it was like a chow mein stir fry thing, yeah. But now, healthy. I'm, start I'm starting <laughs> to see a trend here. You've also been to Costa again. It was because I was I was at um, Bear Grylls Adventure thing. So oh. it was have like either a pizza or nachos or whatever or have something. So I was like, right, I'll just get a Costa drink. And I didn't touch any pizza or nachos. And that, oh, or well done, things. Terry. That's good. Did you do the assault course at Bear Grylls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did you do? I was pretty much dead <laughs> by the end of it. It's really hard work, isn't it? I got to the top of that A-pole and I did was like, you? oh, get over. I can't get <laughs> I think I did the same thing. I just came back down again. Yeah, I was like, I don't know, I'm going to fall. Because <laughs> it's so high up there, it's scary, isn't it? I couldn't get my leg over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, going back to your food diary. So you had the hot <laughs> you had the hot <laughs> chocolate. On the Friday, uh, for lunch, uh, you've got listed here grapes, orange, apple with yogurt. So obviously you had some sort of fruit salad, did you? I had like a fruit salad, ugh, fruit salad with a Greek yogurt, yeah. So I tried to, and I added a bit of vanilla extract to try and give the Greek yogurt a bit of flavour because it's disgusting on its own. <laughs> Well, this is where you just need to make sure it mix is mixed in with the fruit. Because obviously yeah, it, that no, mixed in with the fruit, it was lovely. I loved the satsuma with it. Oh my god, it's yeah. beautiful. So just bear in mind that you've got to get the the, the taste, the sweetness from the fruit. Because yeah, on its own, the yogurt is a bit nasty, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh in the evening, you had salmon with rice sweet corn sweet chili sauce cucumber and some salad leaves and then there's a quick ad for 615 calories what was that uh trying to think now at friday night oh, um at work they add like um platter bits like it was like a little little tiny like pieces of bread with like a nut on it and I don't know it was like little it was fancy things so oh. I just thought you know what and I had a couple of them and I thought I just had 600 tricks I bet it's high okay <laughs> so well it's done just... <laughs> it's good to track well done right Thursday there's not much in here it says milk tea bags and sugar for breakfast yeah. And then the evening, it's just got chicken, Slimming World chips, green beans, carrots, chives, stock cube, red onion and bay leaf. What did you make? Yeah. Um, so I had chips, the green, the green bean. It was like, because I used to do HelloFresh meals a lot. Yeah. So from the chicken stock and um, I did, did I say chives? I made like a, a little sauce and I put that over my chicken and, and that. Did you have anything else that day? No. That's because you were coming off the night shift, was it? Yeah. And were you not hungry or did you not just? Um, while I was working, I wasn't hungry. But then 
of around half past six in the morning I felt hungry but then I started to do the school run and I forgot and then yeah. I got back and I went to sleep so okay <laughs> so yeah don't worry right Wednesday you had uh you put the tea in there again uh you've got eggs there for lunch and then in the evening you've got sweet potato peas carrots broccoli and cauliflower um chicken stuffing gravy mint sauce butternut squash and a giant yorkshire pudding that oh, sounds amazing i could eat that right now it was only like half of it but yeah it was like a sunday dinner but on a tuesday or monday i think it was can't remember what day on a wednesday that was on a wednesday that was it yeah sunday dinner on a wednesday i'll be coming around to yours on wednesday right tuesday <laughs> Tuesday, uh, you've got the sweet clam and the tea. Obviously, these are snacks when you're working, is it? Um, it's it's when literally I get back first thing in the morning. And whilst the kids are eating their breakfast, I'll have a cup of tea and then I add an orange. Now, on Tuesday, it was pancake day and you did have a batter mix. I did. <laughs> was it now? What did you have on top of it? Um, what did I have? I can't remember. Fresh cream and chocolate. Yes, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you it didn't track. I, did, I didn't have fresh cream though. Oh, My you just had, had a bit cream. of chocolate. I had the tiniest bit and I couldn't eat it. Really? Why? <laughs> I was I was literally like it it just didn't feel think like I don't know. I ended up throwing it. Okay. <laughs> right. In the evening that day, you had cucumber salad uh eggs salad cream and ham was that a salad or what was that yeah it was like a little salad that i made like a little makeshift salad right and then tuesday evening there's two things uh one is a bird's cream slice yeah which was 515 calories it was yeah it shocked I, me that this i actually didn't realize they were that high that's really yeah. high isn't it yeah um, and what was the quick ad for 376? What day was that? Tuesday. Yeah, it was when you had the bird's cream slice. Oh, um, because that's what I didn't, I, the pancake I didn't feel like having because I had one of my mum's cupcakes I made up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes, because last Tuesday it was. Tell everybody what day it was. The St. David's Day. Yes. <laughs> so you had one of those lovely cupcakes. I saw the picture of them and they looked yeah. amazing. OK, right. So looking at your diary this week, what I want to do is to bring your calories down. OK, so how did you feel this week? Were you feeling hungry or how were you feeling this week? Not really. I was trying to like I didn't know whether I had to work towards it. So I was trying to like pack bits in because I thought if I don't eat enough, am I going to like my body fat going to store itself? And I didn't yeah. know what to do. So I was trying to work towards it more than actually <laughs> so you don't need to worry as long as you're eating more than 1000 calories a day that's the minimum is 1000 okay. calories but what i want you to do this week is to eat 1200 calories maximum so okay. if you can stay between 1000 and 1200 yeah does that sound okay yeah um if you are on night shift and you're coming off it and you only eat 400 calories that day that is okay but i just need you to make up for it the next day okay you know like this week when you said you were just tired and you wanted to go to sleep if you feel like this that this week that's fine but just remember you need to have those calories the next day right okay does that does that make sense yeah great Okay, so those are your that's your challenge this week, just to try and um, stick between those calories, 1000 and 1200. Uh, and let's weigh again tomorrow and just sort out that scales because there's, there's no way that you wouldn't have lost weight this week, going through your food yeah. diary, you definitely have lost weight this week. It's just the issue with the scales that it's not showing. Does that make sense, Terry? Yeah. <laughs> And as I said, try and stay away from fry light uh, and stay away from margarines. Just try and have a little bit of really nice, tasty butter, which sounds like you've already got it in the fridge as well, the unsalted. Yeah. So I use do, that. Yeah. And get yourself some olive oil as well. 
Yeah, I need to get olive oil because I only have sunflower oil, you know, the big thing, and I've tried to stay away from that. Yeah, definitely stay away from that. Um, so get yourself some olive oil. What day do you shop? Whenever I can, really. <laughs> Where do you shop? Uh, as the mainly or Morrison's on, on Amazon. Okay. If you have a look at the olive oil section, they actually say whether they're for cooking or whether for drizzling over salad. Generally, okay. uh, extra virgin olive oil is just for drizzling over salad, whereas the just the normal cheaper one that says olive oil, that's the one for cooking with. So just make sure you get you want the one for cooking with. Okay, I think I've got a spray one. Is that just for salad? The spray one, I think, is it the fry light one as well? No, it's an extra, it's an as the extra version olive oil one. Right. If you could take a photo of that and send it me. Yeah. But yeah, that sounds good. But let me have a look at it first. Okay. <laughs> Great. Have you got any other questions? Um. No, I've got, I've got like a makeshift watch on at the minute. So I only put it on at like half five today. So. Right. so that is going to be counting your steps so it'll be interesting to see how many steps you do uh, yeah because my phone's appalling for keep tracking of everything yeah. or it's telling me I've done 26,000 when I've really not and <laughs> really annoying isn't it last week you were telling me about it so hopefully we'll get a bit more of an accurate view for this week yeah great anything else no I think I'm all right just getting my water bottle back so I can have my water intake properly again yeah, that sounds good. Right, Terry, that's it from me. Thank you very much. I will see you again next week. All right, see you. Thank okay. you. Bye. Bye.